This video is brought to you by NCIX.com. Great technology, selection, and service. Hello everyone, I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Welcome to another video. Now, we recently built this beast of a machine behind me the $3,500 Skylake editing PC. Now, the important thing to notice about this machine is that we're only using solid state drives for our workflow. So any of everything that's inside will be extremely fast to access and re read by Adobe applications. So we don't have to wait for things to load, don't have to wait for things to render out. And it's a very, very good thing because if you know, if you know anything about workflow for editing, video editing, fast storage is as important as as your CPU and the GPU. Perhaps not in the final rendering output, but it is very important in the actual workflow. So in this video, it will be my first time uh, setting up SSDs in RAID 0, uh, which seems, seems to be the topic surrounding enthusiast machines only, and I'm happy to say that this is finally happening with me as well. So I hope you enjoyed. This can be a fun one, and you know, it's SSDs we're talking about, RAID 0 array, but don't you worry, I have plenty of satisfying Bocalicious B-roll for your viewing pleasure. So we teamed up with OCZ for this project and they've provided us with three of their Vector 180 SSDs that are targeted for performance workloads and enthusiast applications, which for our use align perfectly well as editing drives in our new Skylic editing PC. These are 480 gigabyte capacities, which are incredibly well priced by the way, at around $200 a piece. So you're looking at 42 cents per gigabyte, which is an awesome value. Plus OCZ offers offers a five-year warranty, which is a testament to their very much appreciated consideration for the enthusiast community and just shows the longevity of these drives. And in this video, we'll be seeing what type of performance we get with one drive, RAID 0 array with two drives, and just for fun, triple SSDs in RAID 0. And uh, just to clarify, we are doing RAID 0 because I'd like to achieve the best read and write performance possible as the drives will be used for video editing. Plus, choosing any other RAID configuration means sacrificing on either speed or capacity. All of the OCZ drives will be used as secondary storage, which is separate from my main operating system drive, which is this Intel 750 SSD. The first thing I did after installing the drives in my case, I have two of them on my back uh, and one on the side of the case is go into the BIOS to set proper SATA mode, which is under peripherals, strangely, with our Z170 XP SLI motherboard from Gigabyte. And there we enter SATA configuration, and instead of the AHCI mode, we're going to enable RAID. So after reboot, uh, we press Control i we enter into this window that shows all of our connected SATA drives, and here we're going to create a new RAID volume, we're going to call it Vector 180X3, to indicate three SSDs in this RAID 0 array. Uh, RAID 0 is what we want for best speeds, and make sure to select all the disks to be used in this array, and select an appropriate strip size for RAID 0. Capacity is left at default, and then we simply click Create Volume, after which all three SSDs are part of the same array. So now we booted into Windows, and I did have Windows 10 installed on my Intel 750 SSD, so none of my files and anything that I work on is affected. But here, as you notice, we opened my PC, the OCZ RAID array is no longer found. So it's no longer here, but you can actually, uh, you will have to enable it. So you go into Manage, and this is uh, the exact same procedure on any Windows machine. So you go into uh, right-click your PC, Manage, you go into Disk Management, and you can see you will actually have to um, initialize the disk, which has been created with your RAID array. Now what we do is we go into right-click on this portion, New, Simple Volume, yes, next, next, allocate it to D, sure. Volume, I'm gonna call this Vector 180X3, so I know that this is three SSDs in there for my RAID array, go to next and finish. And so it's gonna quick format it and bam. So here we have vector, uh, the RAID array that I've created and renamed show up inside here. I can open it, I can interact with it. 1.3 terabytes of SSD, incredibly fast storage. Now I want to do something here and test if there's any speed differences in creating a RAID array in BIOS versus creating one 
through the software, through sort of Windows manage and create your own through stripped volume. So now we're back to the main menu of our SATA drives inside the BIOS. I'm going to delete this uh, RAID volume and create one through the Windows Disk Management to see if there's any speed differences in RAID 0 with the three drives. All right, so after booting into Windows, some weird thing happens. So you can see local disk F is visible. I cannot access it, but it asked me to format it. So deleting the previous RAID array inside the BIOS um, didn't do the full job for me. So what I'm gonna have to do is actually format disk. Now you can see all my three SSDs are in their prime state, ready for new stripped volume. So stripped volume, this is another way to create the RAID array through software. So you don't have to access BIOS and don't have to deal with any of that stuff. Uh, it's easily accessible through Windows. Uh, and we're gonna be testing out the speeds in which we get through, you know, setting up RAID Array through software versus setting up in BIOS. You choose the disks that you want to add to your full RAID. And I'm gonna call it Vector 180. X3. So again, perform a quick format and we're going to see what type of speeds we get. So one of the advantages of creating a RAID array through the Windows ecosystem is the fact that the UI is slightly better. You don't need any software. You know, you can right click and you can change what you want, you, what type of RAID you'd like. Um, whereas with the BIOS setting, it's a little bit more complicated, a little more cumbersome, but it still does the exact same thing. Um, so now we have our new RAID array created, RAID 0 with three drives, 1.3 terabytes of incredibly fast storage. And let's see if there's any speed differences uh, in creating one through Windows versus one through the BIOS. Well, here are the speed results with the RAID 0 array using all three drives, uh, comparing performance of an array created inside the BIOS versus the one created inside the Windows Disk Management. And notice the much higher sequential read performance in an array created inside the BIOS, which is a very important observation for moving massive files. In the end, I went back to the BIOS to create a RAID 0 array for only two drives because I needed a separate drive for Adobe Media Cache files and also Scratch Disk. So when Adobe tries to access those files, it does not interfere with the read or write performance on the main separate project drive. And as far as speeds go uh, for this RAID 0 array for two drives, I'm getting over one gigabyte per second in sequential read and write performance, which I'm very happy about and compare that to the performance of a single Vector 180 SSD. So you can see the array performs twice as fast for my project disks versus the cache drive. Now, so the reason why I finalized my configuration with a RAID 0 array on two SSDs and left one separate is because I want to uh, protect my data in case anything happens with the RAID. Because in RAID 0, if anything happens with one of the drives, you lose all information. And I don't want to do that because my RAID 0 array will be my project's file. So anytime that I need to access this information through Adobe, it would be, you know, the read and write speeds are double as as fast versus the single drive. So that's why I have the Vector 180 cache uh, SSD. So it's a separate SSD dedicated for backup files and for all the cache information. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm really happy with the way things turned out, you know, having a separate RAID 0 array with two drives and then a separate cache drive, just so that I have some backup. And, you know, it's actually very beneficial for Adobe to access a separate drive for your cache versus your main workflow drive. And it's, uh, I'm happy with how the actual speeds of RAID 0 has benefited using the BIOS RAID versus the Windows raid and it's a very strange thing how there is that slight speed difference and speed advantage in setting up things in raid zero through bios versus windows and i'm gonna go back to editing this exact video on this machine right now now i've noticed a massive improvement in loading projects um, that are super large so on average, each single 4K video project file that I work with for our Hardware Knacks Productions is about 60 gigabytes. So opening up a project with 60 gigabytes of footage inside a Premiere timeline is very demanding. So it requires a lot of reads 
through Premiere. And so having this RAID 0 array for uh, Adobe to access all these files has been incredibly beneficial. Whereas previously, all my footage was on hard disks, so it took forever to load things. But now it's literally just a click away and everything is loaded super quick. And before I skedaddle, make sure to check out all the videos we've produced regarding the insane Skylake editing PC behind me. Uh, all the parts, the build log, the performance and gaming. If you're interested, it will all be linked in the description below. I'm Dimitri with Hyrule Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next one.